I'm Kathy Ann White. I wanted to show you a new series of journals that I've been designing and have written an ebook about. I call the journals Wrap It Up, and the book is called Wrap It Up Journals with Style. The way the journal works is well, there's several versions and there's a bunch of chapters in the book. So let me just kind of show you um, a couple of what the journals look like. So this is the basic one. Like I said, I call them Wrap It Up. So what they do is they wrap into each other. Kind of like those nesting dolls, you know, when they get smaller and smaller and smaller. Well, this kind of gets smaller and smaller too as you go inside. And I give you really good ways to design them so they work really well. And I give you some ideas on putting some different elements inside of them. And I'm going to show you how to do this at the end of this video. So that's the basic style. This is all done with one sheet of watercolor. Well, not one sheet totally, but a single piece of watercolor paper that is painted. Then I have, let's see, let's see what I'll look at next. Okay, let's try the box. It's the, bo the reason this is called the box is it continues to get thicker on the sides. And eventually, if you build it a little larger, you can have an actual box out of it. The reason I do the box for this is because I want to put more things in it and those things give it a little bit of a 3D look and actually I have this upside down but so there are little hidden pages and little pull out type ideas and little tiny books so the box keeps growing until it is a box then I have the cloth kind that are um, that are cloth and papers. This one has a cover that has been uh, patchworked with paper and cloth. And as it opens, it opens to watercolor pages. So then the whole entire rest of the journal is sections of watercolor pages. So there's plenty of room to write here. If you're on the go, you can take one section with you very easily shove it in your pocket even when you get to the little ones and there's tons of writable space and you can put other things inside of them like I said you can make ties to tie them up if you want to keep them closed or you can just fold them up and leave them exactly like they are there's a recycled chapter and that one shows you how to make this sleeve which has been made from plastic bags from the grocery store and from different retail stores and even these things were cut out of plastic bags. And it is the house or the little sleeve or how to carry this recycled journal that was made out of paperback book pages. So all the, the painting, all the different things that I do in these journals, it's all described in the ebook. So let me show you one more. And that would be my portfolio journal. There, like I said, there's a whole bunch of other ones, but I'm not going to go through every single one of them right now. Um, this is my this is my portfolio since I do printed surfaces and alternative surfaces and different types of um, do different types of work to it. This is a piece of silk that has been overprinted, has been dyed and then overprinted, and this is another piece of silk. The same thing has happened to that. There's some luchador here. There's some dyed luchador here. There's cheesecloth skins. There's all sorts of different elements in this one because it's for me to be able to carry it and take it along with me to show people how I do what I do or what I do and the different surfaces that go with it. So if you're an artist or you're a photographer, you can make yourself small pictures, small pieces of your artwork, and it explains completely how to make this so it's really thick and sturdy. There are um, what I call the connectors that are clear on the portfolio one. This, my portfolio opens all the way into a beverage can and um, also there's printed printer's plates here too. So that's my portfolio one, but yours can be designed for your artwork which is really kind of cool and the specific instructions are there. Here's really quickly, I'll just show you one more total cloth one. This is half um, have created already and um, all these journals I'm going to start selling at conferences or maybe on an Etsy shop probably not right away because I'm going to Art Unraveled this week actually I'm leaving pretty soon and 
I will have these journals with me um, at the vending day. So these are digital prints and print plenty writable room. There, there's canvas in here. I really love writing on the surface of canvas. So there's another one. And then I have, let's see, I had one more, but I don't have it right here right now. So let me show you how I'm gonna do those little box things, and then I'll show you one more journal. These, these fold together, and you actually, they actually come out of a piece of paper that is square, that is right here, and there's another one, and then you can put them together, and they pull out, and you can write on them. So, let me show you how I'm going to fold that. I don't know, this is like not, a, this is not my idea. I had seen it someplace, um, and it's really great to wrap them up and put them inside these journals. This is a sheet of paper that is square, so I'm going to crease it down one side, and then I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to crease it down the other side. So I'm just folding this in half to crease it and then crease it again. Now, what I want to do is I want to fold these two flaps inside in triangles and keep the top as a square. So I'm going to do that, push these things in, and then come in here and press it down. Then, when I've got this one done, I'm going to make another one. This piece of paper already had a crease in it, but I'm going to use it anyway. It's a little lighter weight piece. I'm going to, again, I'm going to go this way and this way, and then I'm going to bring, <laughs> here I'm going to get you all messed up. I'm going to bring, I'm going to keep the square on top and on bottom, and then I'm going to bring these sides in, and fold it. They're kind of like those little fortune teller things we used to make as kids. I used to make them all the time, and they used to go in and out, fun thing. Okay. So then, if you use gel medium, you just glue these two squares on the outside here together, and now it's a little bit of a pull-out. And you can make this as small or as large as you want, and it's going to be a quarter size of whatever size sheet you use, or sheet of paper you use. So you want to remember that, and then you'll know if you want it to fit like in a, in a spot where it's really large, you might want to make it a little bigger. Okay, so then I just have one more journal to show you. This is one that I made for myself, and and it's sort it's a wrap it up, but it's not like all the other ones with all the sections fit into it. I did this one for a conference that I'm going to go teach at, and I wanted to have different places to write notes and whatever, and still have something really decorative. So this is a little longer because it's rectangular in shape, and I have papers in the middle that open like a book and I show you how to do this in the ebook and then I have another set of papers here on this side that do the same thing and then here I have just a portfolio that kind of opens up and then you can tie it down and keep it closed and then on the side here I have pockets that have been put together. All this information is in the book and then a pocket right here. So this is designed so it'll wrap up for me and then when I'm using it all I have to do is wrap the sections backwards and come where I want to to use the actual journal. So all these things are explained, well not this one, I take it back, but it, when, <laughs> this one is not in there because I did it yesterday and the book was already finished but I do have examples on how to put all these different kinds of papers inside and you can see the different ways that these journals come together and there's always room for creation. It's just an idea that I had. So check out the ebook. I'm going to have the URL of the blog post at the front and the back of this video or actually in the instructions somewhere. It'll get there. So anyway, um, check it out and have some fun with it.